Hey there, welcome back to our kitchen. I'm Maura and this is Jenny. We're two of Festival's Mealtime Enters and today we are working with a type of seafood that it might seem a little intimidating, um, but it's actually super easy and really quick to prepare at home. That's right, Lauren. Today we are making steamed mussels with white wine and garlic. Mussels. So yeah. I hadn't had mussels until I tried this recipe, but you've had them a bunch. Yes, and it's really easy, right? Yes, definitely. So what we're going to do is get started on our sauce. So we've got our big stock pot here, which is what you need because we're going to end up steaming our mussels. That's how you cook them. Um, I'm going to add some butter because mussels and butter just go together. Yeah. Um, so we're going to just let this butter heat up and um, just to the point where it's all melted and it's foaming, we can add in our other ingredients. Yep. And while that's going, let's talk a little bit about our mussels. So when you get the mussels at the store, you want to make sure like once you get them home that you clean them under cool running water and then de-beard them. So these have already been cleaned. Um, the beard is something like kind of grass-like almost that sticks out of the muscle and if you have that on your muscles you want to just pull that off so just rip it right off really really simple um, and you also want to go through the muscles and make sure that everything is alive so as you're washing them they should close up if they don't close up that means that they're dead so then we want to get rid of those because we don't want to eat them um, and then after you've steamed them if they don't open up after that steaming process then they aren't any good either. So just be aware of those things. We don't want you to eat any bad seafood. Yes, but like you said, ours have already been cleaned, which is nice. We bought them that way, so it saves an extra step. All right, so butter is good. We're going to add in garlic, shallot, and just saute these. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Until um, the garlic is nice and tender and those shallots are translucent. So just a couple minutes. Okay, so this looks good. Um, the next step, we're gonna add in some chopped Roma tomato, which will add a really nice um, flavor to our mixture here. Mm -hmm. Flavor and color. Oh yeah. So just sauteing this here until our Roma tomatoes are nice and soft, um, which doesn't take too, too long. It smells so good. Yes, the butter, I mean, it's not too much, and it's just really for the sauce that we're making, but it adds a lot of really good flavor. All right, our tomatoes are nice and soft. Looks great. Um, so our next ingredients, we're going to add in some white wine. My favorite part. <laughs> oh, yes. So you can use any type of white wine or white cooking wine works. Um, we're going to add in half of this lemon juice here, and then lemon zest which is so fragrant, so fresh. And just gonna mix this up just to incorporate it. And then we are going to add in our mussels. I love how easy this recipe is. So you can- It really is. Use this as like a day night meal, something fancy, or even just a weeknight meal because it is so simple. Yes. All right, we're adding all of our mussels in here. We have a pound and a half that we're working with today. And we're going to put the cover on our pot um, and just let this steam for three minutes. No peeking. No peeking. Um, and then we're going to check them, mix them up, and then we'll let them steam just a tad bit longer. Okay, it's been three minutes. We're just going to, oh, they look good. Yum. We're just stirring them up here just to kind of incorporate all the yumminess, although a lot of them look like they've been cooked already. They're open, which is good. All right, so. Gonna cover this back up two to three ish more minutes um, just to finish steaming them and then we're good to go. All right, so it's been about two minutes. Oh, yeah, they are good to go. I'm gonna turn this off here and they look so great. So, our last step, they are cooked and we know they're cooked because they're open and you can see the meat inside yeah. there, which looks so good. So, we're gonna add in the rest of our lemon juice and then some salt and pepper. Salt and pepper just to taste. And I'll get some bowls. Awesome. So I'm just gonna stir this together here. Try to incorporate all the yumminess that's on the bottom that we prepped earlier. Oh, it looks so good. All right. Serve this up. Yeah. 
And so as you're serving, just look for those muscles that maybe didn't open. And if you come across any, chuck them. And they all look good. Now, sometimes the good. meat will detach. Yes. So you may have an empty muscle, but I'm sure that the meat is floating around in there. Yeah. And when you find that Somewhere. floating piece of muscle meat, it's like a bonus because you don't have to work for it. Yes, yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, so it's just garnish with a little bit of parsley. And something that's kind of nice to serve with the mussels, especially since we have that great sauce we made on the bottom, um, is some crusty bread that you can just kind of dip in. And that's pretty traditional mm -hmm. for mussels. And who doesn't want like a white wine and butter sauce? Oh, yeah, absolutely. On their bread. <laughs> a little more lemon. So good. I see a really great piece right here. So this is great as a meal or as like kind of a fancy appetizer. Yeah. I'm trying to get this out without burning my finger. Yeah, hot. There we go. Mmm. The sauce just really brings out all the great flavors. And mussels are really, they're just... They take on any of the flavors you add yeah. to them, which is really, really nice. Delicious. I love this. Well, muscle up and try mussels this week. And for more recipes and resources from your mealtime mentors, visit festfoods.com.